Hello everyone, Monkle Zonky here, and welcome to my Hellhound Slayer Guide. I'm going to be showing you a couple places to kill these, and also the best way to do so. So before we get started into the guide, Hellhounds are weak to melee, so you want to be using melee weapons, whether that be Drygors or Chaotix, or if you don't even have either of those, I'd recommend to use a Godsword like a Bandos Godsword, or a Ceridoman Godsword if you can afford it, because it, the Ceridoman Godsword also heals you, which can be really useful. Hellhounds do deal quite a bit of damage, so the best way to heal that I've found so far is by bringing a Bone Crusher and then also equipping a Demon Horn Necklace. And since you kill them so fast that you can just pray Soul Split constantly, and that will pretty much provide all the healing that you have. So if you don't have Soul Split, uh, just be warned bring a Bunyip Pouch or bring a War Tortoise full of food um, so that you can heal up during the task. You also want to be bringing a charm collector to collect all the gold charms that they drop. They don't just drop gold charms, but Hellhounds have one of the highest drop rates of gold charms in the game. So gold charms are something I just like to collect personally. That's why I bring the charm collector. And also for my equipment, I'm wearing Bandos, a Tokar Cal, and a Slayer Helm, Barrows Gloves, Dragon Boots, and a Ferocious Ring because I'm going to be killing them in Curdell's Dungeon, but I'll show you another location to kill them as well. So if you're not using Curadel and you still want to kill Hellhounds, the best way to do that is to load stone to Taverly. There are a couple other Slayer Masters that also assign Hellhounds a, as a task. I believe Simona is one of them and Duradil. Um There might be some more other than that. I'm not sure if the Fairy Slayer Master assigns Hellhounds, but if she does, this will be a good place to kill them. So as soon as you arrive in Taverly, just run straight south from the Taverly Lodestone and into the Taverly dungeon entrance just to the south up across this bridge here. And I hope you do have 70 agility. If you don't have 70 agility, you're going to have to run all the way through the dungeon. I'm not going to go into that. If you have 70 agility, just go through this pipe right here, and that will just have a short little roundabout run, and then you'll get to the Hellhounds. If you have 80 agility, you can jump across this strange floor here and this will put you a little bit closer. It doesn't save that much time, so if you only have 70 agility, it's not really that big of a deal. But here are the Hellhounds, and there's going to be a lot of them. There's also a resource dungeon that you can enter, which I'm going to be showing you um, how to kill Hellhounds in. That is right here, and oftentimes this can be less crowded. And also in the resource dungeon, you can lay down a cannon if you'd like. Just be aware that um, you kind of do need a lot of food and armor to cannon these because of all the damage you will be taking. This resource dungeon only requires 55 dungeoneering, so as long as you have that, you can come in here and cannon if you'd like, or just kill the hellhounds as usual, and they are not nearly as spread out as in the dungeon, so it can be a bit of faster kills that way. If you were assigned them from Curdell, I'd recommend killing them in Curdell's dungeon, because there are a couple good places about this dungeon. For one, the Hellhounds are all packed quite neatly, quite neatly together, so you don't have to do much running around to kill them. You can also actually AFK this task if you'd like. Just turn auto retaliate on, and you can just step away from your computer or whatever because the Hellhounds are aggressive, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And as long as you have Soul Split active, you won't die. I wouldn't recommend momentuming them or not paying attention to the screen while you're killing them, just because it's not as good XP per hour. The XP per hour rates, by the way, with Hellhounds aren't the best. They're only about 70k Slayer an hour because they give so few experience per kill. But of course, there are some pluses to this task and some minuses as well. They also don't drop anything other than charms, clue scrolls, ancient effigies, and if you're killing them in Curadil's dungeon, also ferocious rings. So don't expect to make any profit off of this task unless you do clue scrolls because they do have a very high drop rate of clue scrolls, one of the best in the game. But unless you do those, you're not going to be making any money. But, of course, not everything is about money. This also is a very quick task. It only takes about 15 minutes to do it, just because the Hellhounds die so quickly. Um, often with Drygors, you can even kill them in two hits. So it's not that much to worry about of the length of task. It won't take very long at all. Also, they are quite decent melee XP per hour. Um, with my testing, there are about 265k melee XP per hour, so that's, I would say, better than average for Slayer tasks. So if you still aren't 99 in your combat stats, this is a pretty good place to go to get some quick, really good melee XP. But anyway, also the plus of killing them in Curadil's Dungeon is if you need more Ferocious Rings, this would be a good place to get them as well. Anyway, that's about all for my guide. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it was helpful. 
And as always, I would recommend to do Hellhounds just because it's such a quick task. It really hardly takes any time, and it is pretty decent melee XP. That's about all for this guide. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my future Slayer guides coming soon, and farewell.